Let's type cold in here, bro. Let me get cozy real quick. You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? Woody fam, what's good with y'all? I know it's been a couple days, bro, but uh, I've been tired as hell and I've been busy as hell with work. So my bad if I haven't uploaded in the last two days, but I saw this. We got a few videos we got to react to, too. Like, it's a bunch of them, but I saw this right here. It says, Elon Musk slams Assassin's Creed Shadows Black Samurai, which I don't know if this is a reach or not. Not sure if this is a reach or not. And it says, fan backlash gets worse from <laughs> woke Ubisoft. Jesus Christ. All right, let's see. <laughs> it's been a week and a half since Ubisoft blew up the internet and not in a good way. With everything we've seen in the gaming space, so much backlash and pushback against AAA companies, right. inserting DEI, insane price points, microtransactions, all the different reasons right now that we're seeing gamers really push back and say, we're tired of this shit, we've had enough. Combined with the mainstream media relentlessly attacking gamers for daring to speak their mind, it really set up the perfect fucking storm. Listen, it has been a crazy, crazy, crazy like week or a week and a half, or however long it was when all the nonsense was happening. But it's been a while, bro. It's been a good minute. And... <sighs> My bad, bro. I'm, I'm telling y'all, I'm tired, bro. I told y'all, bro. Work is kicking my ass. But um, <laughs> it's just been an experience with this Assassin's Creed joint, bro. <laughs> for Ubisoft to release a trailer for a game that has been so highly anticipated for over a decade. Fans of the Assassin's Creed franchise, which has turned into a, an interesting franchise in recent years, really departed from like the core gameplay and, and sentiments of what it was originally supposed to be built around. Nevertheless... Assassin's Creed fans forever had been asking simply put one in Japan. You do all these different locations, all these historical Japan. places. You need to do Assassin's Creed in Japan. And Ubisoft finally said, you know what? Let's do We're it. We're going to do that. Here's the catch. Protagonist is going to be black. We're going to have a... What, nobody still speaks about Naoe. Like, speak about her. She's Japanese, bro. What's the situation... <sighs> God, it's getting annoying at this point, bro, because nobody, everybody wants to just talk about Yasuke or Yasuke. Nobody wants to talk about, nobody wants to speak about Naoi. They talk about Yasuke like he's the only character that you play as, and it's mad annoying, to be honest, bro. It's pissing me off, to be honest. Now I'm mad, bro. <laughs> Male protagonist really and a female protagonist. There the female go. protagonist is Japanese, thankfully. Yeah, talk the about her. Male protagonist is black. Okay. Well, it is an insane. He's a part of Japanese history. Do your research decision that reeks of DEI that reeks of woke agenda and the people at Ubisoft basically came out and admitted that but very predictably I get it. I after get they made that decision the bit. fans voiced their feedback and you can see it plain as day closing in on 700,000 dislikes for this trailer in just a week and a half now, compared now. to less than 300,000 likes <sighs> Alright, bro, stop yawning. <laughs> now, if this game is good, bro, a lot of these... If this game is good, none of that shit is going to matter. I, I can guarantee it. And if I you want to talk it. about an even worse ratio, obviously, 8 million people didn't watch this video, but go to Japan. How do the Japanese people feel about this? The culture that you're taking and just absolutely bending over and butt-fucking. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That doesn't necessarily... Wait, wait, wait. We going by likes and dislikes? Those dislikes don't necessarily mean Japanese people. Bro, we can see this in America. <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? This could be anybody, bro. Some people, most of these people, I can, I can almost guarantee you the majority of these people that have been disliking have not even watched. Like, it's just people disliking it just because they want to. Why are we doing this racial shit? Why does it matter, bro? As long as the game is good. Now, if it was just, like, some random black dude that was playing, like, you know, some random dude that wasn't a part of actual Japanese history, okay. I could see why niggas would be mad. I'll be mad. But it's different. He's actually a part of Japanese history, like I said, bro. You know? He actually took place in Japanese history. So I don't see the issue. And there's Japanese people... Shout out to the Japanese people, you know what I'm saying? There's Japanese people in my comments actually saying, hey, like, I don't know why people are upset. Like, I don't know, bro. It's just it's a Japan. lot. Japan. What's the ratio here? 
45,000 down votes to 5,000 likes. That says nothing. Nine though. times the amount of people dislike this video that like it. The one that's it, the, for the Japanese people. They have rejected this wholeheartedly. Says and nothing. all along the way, what have we been hearing? The mainstream games journalists shilling relentlessly every way they can. Saying you're racist if you have a problem with this. Saying, well, I mean, you don't actually care that they're not Asian. You just have a problem that they're black. And of course, we've talked about the Yasuke stuff. The, the gaslighting involved in this Yasuke nonsense. This dude who there's no evidence at all to suggest he was actually a samurai. So there's, ev so there's evidence that's showing that he wasn't? Yet now, okay. they've changed Wikipedia, okay. they've changed Britannica, they've made these edits. These activists are trying to change history over a video game. And if you don't buy into this big lie, you're just a massive bigot. It's been pathetic. Okay. Let's not pretend we're mad. The new Assassin's Creed Shadow Samurai isn't Asian. Makes no and sense. even this one. This might be the dumbest fucking article out there. Oh, by a woman, <laughs> what do you know? They wouldn't want an African Assassin's Creed either. Guess what? We've already had one. Assassin's Creed Origins, you dumb bitch, set in Egypt, which, <laughs> by the way, is in Africa, in case you didn't know. But there's just been so much That's attention true. paid to this. And now even Elon Musk has weighed in on this. Elon Musk weighs in. Hold on. This has been debunked. I see, I see where it says a potential gay black samurai. You can choose who you want to deal with. He's not necessarily just gay. Like, no. Like, you can choose who you want to do. You see what I'm saying? Like, so it's a choice. It's a choice in the game. Then on Assassin's Creed Shadows featuring a potentially gay black samurai as the main character. Oh, and yes, by the way, they, they did say that Yasuke and the other, the other pr female protagonist, they're going to have a multitude of different relationships with a lot of different types of people. Now, we've had options in Assassin's Creed games before to... Take a homosexual, uh, like to, to have an option, a dialogue option. If you want to do a homosexual act, you could. Yeah, Those yeah, options yeah. have been there before. So that's not necessarily anything new. It right, goes right, right along right. with Ubisoft stuff. Right, right, they've right. been go, pushing in their games for quite some time. That's true. And it certainly seems like all the people that are excited about your black samurai, well, now he's going to be fucking dudes in the ass. Congratulations. Bro, he's not. <laughs> it's your choice. You don't have to choose to do that. You make it seem like it's not a choice. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Bro. Bro, this nigga funny. Bro, he funny as hell. Though. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Elon Musk weighed in on the possibility of Ubisoft's upcoming Assassin's Creed Shadows game oh, featuring a gay black samurai. Musk weighed in while responding to user Ian Miles Chong. Oh, God. Should Ubisoft delay Assassin's Creed Shadows in response to widespread blacklash? I'll, I'll say blacklash. Over the game's injection of DEI? The game is so thoroughly woke that it features a gay black protagonist depicted as a, quote, real historical samurai in Japan. Offensive beyond belief. No one asked for this. Musk replied very simply and, and truthfully, DEI kills, kills art. art. And it does. Elon That's Musk. what we've been witnessing in the gaming sphere, in the entertainment sphere, in comic books, everywhere. Every now, yeah, now, like I said before, like I said before, when I was watching um, Tyrone Magnus, um, yeah, like, I understand, like, yeah, a lot of shit do be forced. I do get it. Like, that's that's true. Like, a lot of shit do be forced. So, everywhere, this push for DEI, this push for agenda ahead of storytelling I, is I, I, nonsensical. I and it pushes people away, and it destroys the art. Um, Ubisoft revealed an upcoming game players will have the option to play either as Yasuke or a fictional character named Nio. I, I don't know if I'm even saying that one right. The company describes Yasuke. I'm probably not saying Yasuke right for a bunch of you weebs out there anyway. My apologies. Yasuke. The company describes him as a real-life samurai, which is just, there's no historical evidence to back that up. That isn't from some activist's 350 page that's cap because there are actual historians on youtube that actually speak about yasuke before this game was even announced way before this game was even announced so i mean you could go check it out book even though we only have two sentences of actual history about this dude the company wrote the decision to include playable real life historical figure in this era of assassin's creed shadows was twofold ubisoft quebec wanted to include a samurai and Yasuke's story was open-ended enough to allow for creativity. 
there are still plenty of questions and speculations surrounding him. The fascinating facts, though, were undisputable. Of African origin, yet... Yeah. Bro, my bad. If y'all see me looking down, I'm on Twitter, bro. I'm scrolling through Twitter and shit like that. So, yeah, bro. There's a lot, a lot of shit going on on Twitter, bro. <laughs> so, don't mind me. Don't mind me. That is undisputable. He is black. I agree. He arrived in Japan enslaved by the Portuguese. He impressed with size, strength, and wits... That is not necessarily uh, factual. He served under the Japanese daimo Oda Nobunaga. Um, that is if true. You actually, look anywhere, you'll realize there is no record of Yasuke receiving Fuck martial arts man. training or use of a Japanese sword, oh, either when in the service of Nobunaga or in the years prior. The truth is, his time with Nobunaga was limited as they first met in, in 1581, and Nobunaga was dead a year later. There's hardly enough time for Yasuke to be trained as the great warrior they're all claiming him to be. It's bullshit. It's horseshit. And we all know the reason. So now, a game franchise that one of, the, one of the cool, interesting things about it is all the different locations you go to, the different history that gets unveiled that you get kind of thrown into, and the different cultures you get to explore. And now, the one time you go to Japan, you say, you know what? Man, there's been enough samurai games, there's been enough Japanese representation. You know what we need? A fake gay black samurai. Spoiler alert. Everybody fucking hates this, and it's a massive embarrassment. Elon Musk knows it. Everybody with a working brain knows it. And that's why you're going to continue to see this massive amount of backlash towards Ubisoft. Great video. Great video. Great video. I love that he spoke his mind, bro. A lot of people. I love that. He, like, let me pause this. I love that he spoke his mind because a lot of people do not do that, shit, bro. So I can respect it. I can respect it one hundred percent. Do I have to? Do I have to agree with it? No. But do I? Um. Do I uh, disagree with it? Not saying I do or don't. But you know, great video though. I'm not gonna cap. That was a good one. Let me know in down in the comments what y'all think about this whole situation with my boy Elon Musk and um how things are getting worse. Let me know. Like I said, comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on notifications to get notified when I upload and stream. And uh, I'm out of here, bro. Next video. <laughs> Deuces. Yo, hold on my weight, but I'm all alone. No place to go, so I'm ready to crash. I'm out of my zone. Still waiting for hope, still calling for faith, but hung up the phone. No place to go, bet on the stakes, so I'm losing the throne.